We are heading out to the coop this morning and the dog doesn't like it when I don't talk directly to him, right? Is that right? <laughs> Good morning, friends. Welcome back to our homestead. We're gonna be talking about nesting boxes today and why I think I made a big mistake in designing the nesting boxes on our coop the way that I did. Let's go. So why am I saying this? Is because our chickens are laying a lot of eggs on the floor of the coop. And I'm gonna show you the design and why I think that is. And it's not that big of a deal. The coop's not dirty. I don't have a really dirty coop. In the future, it could be bad. You don't want them laying the eggs on the floor because they could get poop on them and then that's gonna taint your eggs. You don't want that at all. So I thought that this would be a cool and practical way to do the uh, nesting boxes. And I'd seen it on a few other designs and I thought it was really easy to build that way. And it was, but it's caused an issue. So let's show you what that is. So if you haven't seen our coop design to build video, go check that out right here. You can see our nesting box is flush on the exterior. It protrudes out into the interior of the coop. I have two chickens trying to lay an egg in the same nesting box right now. I don't know why they're both in the same nesting box at the same time. What are you girls doing? Can you, there's three nesting boxes. You don't, you don't need to share one. So as you can see, the nesting box is protruding on the inside of the coop and it's created this safe place. Hi, I know. The safe place underneath the nesting box that the chickens think is another nesting box. The only problem is, is obviously they poop all over the floor and the eggs under here, two things happens to them. So chickens will lay in areas where they feel incredibly safe. They feel that their eggs, their young, are protected from predators and that is in smaller, tight, confined spaces. So I didn't think about it before and it is not strange that those chickens are laying underneath the nesting box itself because it's a smaller confined space. They feel safe to lay there. The only problem is, is that when the chickens go in there, they scratch around the straw and they throw the straw everywhere. Chickens are messy and they're throwing that straw over top of the freshly laid eggs. They're not worried about burying them for some reason and I have to kind of dig around in there to find all the eggs and there's been a few times where I've missed them. And those times when I miss them, unfortunately, they've gotten, I don't know, pecked or stepped on or something, but they've had some little holes in them and that isn't good. We've fed those to the dog, but those were wasted eggs and the chickens kind of uh, ruined them themselves. That's why you want those nesting boxes up off the floor. And if you see a chicken pooping in the nesting boxes, you gotta clean it out immediately, kind of uh, try to reorient that chicken to where it's actually supposed to go to the bathroom. I don't know, I had one do that the other day and it's kind of strange, you just gotta clean it out. But make sure your nesting boxes and the nesting areas where you're laying eggs stay very, very clean. So today we're gonna pull our nesting box outside of the coop and it'll sit flush on the inside. And hopefully that will tell the chickens that that safe space is gone underneath the current nesting box and they will all lay inside of the nesting boxes. So making that nesting box flush with the inside of the coop is also gonna give us more floor space, which the chickens can always use. Ariel, get the eggs for me, please. I'll hold the basket for you. Oh, there's a chicken in there. Don't, don't disturb her. See, if... no, 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 no. Get the eggs. Yeah. If there's any eggs in there, get them. I'll make sure she doesn't jump out. Is it a real one? Yep, real. Okay. Another real one? Okay, and those other fakes? Okay, we won't disturb her. Bye-bye. There are two on the floor. Yeah? Is there a chicken on the floor? No. Okay.
Mm, don't dig for them with your hands. You got them? Yeah. Two of them? Two. Is there any more? Check behind you. No? Okay. Thank you. Can you take those in to mommy? Yeah. All right. Thanks, B. We got all of our girls to get out of the nest. They all lay their eggs. And it's time to get this thing out of here. The first thing is remembering how I attached it. I found two initial screws, but it's not coming loose, so I must have attached it other places. I gotta get all this straw out of here. Nesting box is out. Let's get it out of here. So what I have to do first is take off this perch bar and attach it to the inside of the coop where they could jump up. This is where they jump up inland so they can easily get in and out of the nesting boxes. So we're gonna take this off and then I need to modify this box and somehow attach it on the outside. going to try to flip the box around and put it in the other direction which will hopefully fit nicely into the same spot and I can secure it on the other side opposite of what it was and bam I just got to figure out the door I'm so thankful that worked out that easily just flipped it around and stuck it in the other way, so perfect. Now I just have to figure out the door. So it's not gonna look as pretty and refined as it was earlier, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I took the old door off and I took the frame off of it, off the back of it, and I think that's gonna fit perfectly with a few minor cuts right into this opening right here. Now keep in mind that I wouldn't do this if this coop was outside. I'd have to redo it completely because I'd need the water to shed off the top of the nesting box because that would just ruin it completely. But since it is inside, I can just do this flip, put the door back on, and I think we're good to go. There we go. We got it put on. The way we designed it, we were really fortunate that all we had to do was take off that one door take off the exterior piece of siding that was attached to the frame, cut it a little bit, and put it back in. All the hinges went actually right back in the same spot. Put the handle on, put the latch on, boom, we're done. Now it's time to get these hens back inside their coop. Get that door open, because all of them have been laying. So I only collected four eggs earlier, and so we got three more to go for the rest of the day, and I know they wanna get back in there and lay. I'm gonna put some fresh hay, back in those nesting boxes and get them in there so they can do their business. Well, remember friends, you gotta stay humble on your homestead because I thought I had that coop perfectly worked out. It uh, functioned the same as some others and I had a lot of knowledge from you know my youth and taking care of chickens and how everything operated uh, but sometimes you build a new coop and things just don't go the way they're supposed to be so you got to be humble and that's this is me saying you know I made a mistake I tried it out I tried something new out and it just didn't work out so we modified it we made it right and hopefully all those eggs will end up in those nesting boxes now Thanks once again for being with us here on the channel. Now go check out this video right here, which teaches you how we built our automatic chicken water. Have a great day. We'll see you next week on the next video. We love you. Bye.